Autels Ultra S2, now available in the UK and Ireland. With the original Ultra still set in the standard for vehicle diagnostics, I have been wondering what could they have possibly added to the S2 to make it different? Well, the answer is a lot. We're gonna be releasing a series of videos that highlight these differences on the S2, starting with the advanced topology. Let's get plugged into a vehicle and show you how that works. System topology. Anybody that's had an Ultra, a 919 or a 909 will recognize this diagram. But what exactly does it mean? Well, system topology is essentially a tree diagram showing your communication network, the ECUs, the line they sit on, and the flow of data through them. A great tool for diagnosing CAM faults. But with the S2, Autel have added some handy features that make that process even easier to diagnose. Let's dive into this and show you some of those features. Right, so we have the S2 plugged into this Audi Q3, and what we can see here is our topology mapping. Now, at this point, it doesn't really look any different to the original Ultra topology, but if we select a module, we'll see some other options. We now have a description of the ECU and its job within the network. We now have the option to display all those fault codes. We have location graphics. This is gonna show us where the ECU is located in the vehicle. But where it gets really interesting is ping network technology. Now this might just sound a bit like technical gobbledygook, but this is gonna be a great tool for diagnosing CAN faults. How many times have we plugged into vehicles and we have an intermittent CAN fault within an ECU? This gives us the ability to send and receive signals to all of the ECUs or individual ECUs within that network to see if there are any communication breakdown. Ideally, the amount of signals we send, we wanna receive. So if we start that now, we can see that equally, the numbers that are being sent are the same as the ones that are being received. Now let's say there's a difference in those two numbers. That would indicate that there's potentially a breakdown in communication between the two ECUs. Not a complete failure, otherwise we wouldn't have communications. But say there's a slight difference, that could indicate a small break in the CAN network. And using that data, we now have a plan of action on how we're going to repair that fault. We find out where the wiring's located and we do some inspections. Right, there we have it. Advanced topology. Along with the handle they've added, just some of the great new features the S2 has to offer. 